Now it's time for Lefties Losing It. Let's start with North Face. You know, the makers of those overpriced, low-quality garments favoured by Dan Andrews and other fashion backward souls. Well, in the US and elsewhere, North Face are offering 20% off if you complete their digital course in racial inclusion. Customers are taught how white privilege grants access to the outdoors and why the outdoors can be racist. Systemic action is around long-term vision of making the outdoors more accessible for everyone, including people of colour. It's so beautiful because it's just it's just breaking all the norms and barriers and everything and it's showing you can do anything with hijab, without hijab. Growing outdoors and being black outdoors and being physically black and being like, this is stuff that we do do, like almost changing the perception or makeup of what a climber looks like. Now, let's hear from a man who took one for the team and sat through that racial equity class. Uh, let's see what he learned. Honestly, I would have enjoyed sitting at the DMV for an hour more than taking that course. The course is really just insulting to my intelligence. They really want to convince you that white people are getting a Caucasian discount every time they go to Bass Pro Shops. And what makes it even more insulting is that it says that when a white person, let's say, can't afford to go jet skiing or hiking or any of these other outdoor activities, they say it's not racially based when it's a white person, but for some reason it is when it's a person of color. And it's not just North Face. Advil is is claiming that there is systematic racism in healthcare and black and brown folk are experiencing what they call pain bias. I should not have to beg my doctor to run tests or ask them to take another look. Welcome to Believe My Pain, a discussion about systemic pain bias in healthcare. I want to thank all of you and all of you for joining me today as we talk about this very important issue. I also want to thank the Pain Equity Project developed by Advil in partnership with the Morehouse School of Medicine and Black Health for inviting us to be a part of their commitment to addressing pain bias in black communities. Yes, everything is racist, including aspirin. Let's look at how Advil hopes to increase sales. Believe me when I say I'm in pain. Believe me when I say, and believe me when I say, my pain is real. Now to a woman who has been failed by the education system, her parents, society. We keep hearing about how smart and savvy Gen Z and millennials are. Sure, they can name 40 pronouns, but how is their financial literacy? How are they with the simplest tasks? Watch this and try to work out whether she's for real or trolling us. With my credit card, I max that out to 4,000. Um, what do you mean you max it out? Max it out or maxed it out? Ma so my max, I got confused with the credit debt and the credit limit. So my parents got mm -hmm. me a credit card and I ended up getting a max credit limit of $8,000. So I could spend up to $8,000. That's what that means, right? <laughs> So I I would use it and I would take my boyfriend we would we would just started dating we would go out is 12,500 on it now yeah. Well, when no, I looked continue. at it last, yeah, continue. Um, me and my boyfriend, me and my friends, we would go out and I'm like, oh, I'll pay for everybody. I got it. I'll, I'll spend the money. Don't worry about it. It's just a credit card. So I would I would pay and pay and pay and pay. And then I called my mom one day and I wanted her to be proud of me. So it's just like, hey, I've got four thousand dollar credit on my credit card. And she's like credit limit or credit debt i was like what's debt <laughs> and she's like oh that's bad i'm like oh really okay um so it's four thousand dollar debt then she's like that's bad why did you do that i'm like i thought that was good and she's like no your credit limit at the time it was uh it was eight thousand so i was like okay well the credit limit's eight thousand that's good right and she's like yes but you were four thousand dollars in debt <laughs> I, I don't know what to say, really. What is debt? Okay, now COVID broke many brains. Uh, you see these folks even now wearing masks outdoors, wearing masks in cars by themselves in their own car. They smell of hand sanitizer. You can smell them coming. And they like to scold their friends and family. Check out this woman. A few weeks ago, I found out that the person that I love most in this world is no longer masking. Their entire family, including four small children, have stopped masking. 
And yesterday I texted her and I said, hey, I, I can't get past the fact that you all are no longer masking. Like, with everything that's happening in the world right now, with COVID, with RSV, with measles, with everything that's coming back, not masking is wild behavior to me. Like, I, community care is important to me. I need to know that the people in my life care about their health and the health of the people around them. To which I received a three and a half page dissertation justifying their behavior. I wouldn't need three pages. I'd limit it to three words. Get stuffed, loser. But let's hear more from this woman who responds to her friends who have told her it's not logical to keep little kids masked forever. My personal favorite was um, paraphrased, you couldn't possibly understand because you don't have kids. It's illogical to expect children to continue masking and stay in lockdown. So I responded and I said, you know, as I already stated, it's your choice to make. I'm sure you will do everything you can to keep your family safe. The best thing for me right now is to take a step away from this relationship. I love you all, but I have to take care of myself first and foremost. I hope you understand. And she said, sure, I can't force you to stay. And I'm telling you this because I know I'm not the only one out here who is dealing with, struggling with people in their lives that they care about very much, that are no longer taking mitigation efforts. I can't have people in my life that make me feel unsafe. And they live on the other coast, but that's not the point. The point is if I had the option to be around them right now, I couldn't because I wouldn't feel safe. And that means something to me. It's becoming impossible to figure out what is real and what is satire. Remember, she started that rant by saying that this person is the person she cares about most in the world and she's choosing to cut her out of her life because she's not masking her little kids on the other side of the country. My God. Now to California where it is a free-for-all when it comes to thievery. Watch this and you soon realise why an increasing number of retailers are closing up or putting everything, including toothpaste, under lock and key. <laughs> I'll just get bored, huh? Yeah. This broke activities right here. I don't understand why. Why, why didn't you come with a bag? Hey, you might as well for that front air if you like to go. Talking about entitled thieves, check out this dude and how indignant he is about being confronted about his thievery. How dare a car owner object to him trying to steal his tyres? He was only going to borrow them. How's it going, sir? What are you doing? Taking a tire. You're taking my tire? Yes, sir. Is that what you're doing? Yes, sir. Is that right? Yes, sir. And why is that? Because uh, my tire's gone. Your tire's gone? So yes. you're going to just take other people's tire? Uh, something like that. I don't think you're going to take it. I'll tell you that right now. Why is that? I'll tell you you're not going to take it. Why is that? So you're going to pick it up and you're going to hold it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, that's no you don't people. You don't do that to people's okay. car. Okay. Okay. Yeah. You don't do that to people's car. So I, I just want to let you know. I just want to let you know that I have police coming on the way. All right. Cool. People don't do that. Go into other people's car and Why just take it. Why are you me? trying to distract me from getting away, sir? You know, people I'm just telling you. People don't set people up like I'm that. I'm just telling you that right now. Yeah. You see this? Yeah. I got cops coming right now. Whoa. I don't think you get far, but go ahead. Dude, that's why I brought my truck here, okay? Yeah. If I wanted to just steal your tire, yeah. I would put it in the shopping cart. Yeah, I think you just tried that though, right? I'm not trying to steal your tire. You're not trying to steal my tire? No. no. Okay. I was going to take my rim off my yeah. truck and then put it on your truck. Sure, sure, buddy. Borrow it yeah. and then bring it back. Oh, okay. That's yeah. what it is, huh? Yeah, that's, that's what, exactly that's what, what it is. is. Okay. Yeah. 